Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to a live reaction from MinMax. MinMax is a place about games, friends, getting better. My name is Ben Hansen. I'm joined by one Janet Garcia. Hello. Welcome to the big show, Janet. Yeah, finally, a showcase. <laughs> so what is this, Janet? What are we looking at here today? This is the Triple I Initiative Showcase. It is um, a I guess, organization, maybe is the best term, that kind of came together. It's made up of several different indie developers of uh, pretty substantial indie titles. Like I believe the titles are like Risk of Rain. There's like a couple other ones. I gotcha. Can... So it's a mystery initiative by people who help bring a Darkest Dungeon, Risk of Rain, to Slay the Spire, Vampire Survivors, View Rising, and more. And it's one of those things of like, I don't know if we're gonna do a reaction. It kind of snuck up on me. And then thankfully people in the Midmax Discord are like, what are you guys doing? Why aren't you jumping in for a reaction for this? So we're obligated to oblige, I think is how it's it It's kind works. of giving, um, you know, FUBU, right? For us, by us. Like that's the concept behind mm. it. The idea of these indie developers coming together and saying, hey, like we want a showcase that really highlights indie titles and right. we think we know how to put it on. That's like sort of the implication, right? So yeah. we're gonna find out today. Do they indeed? It feels it like the right time for this type of thing, you know, with Game Awards still just increasing and increasing in popularity, uh, but still people are not always the happiest. It's like, why don't they show some cool indie games out there, eh? It's like, well, here's an opportunity. If this could be the go-to indie showcase, granted, we also have Wholesome, Wholesome Games Direct. We have a ton of other uh, indie showcases, but you know, it seems like a funky time of the year for one, so why not? Uh, Chet says, are we behind a minute? I guess, can you refresh and see what happens? If you oh, care, I don't care. Interesting. And I'm gonna pull this up over here. Like that extra 40 seconds doesn't matter to me. No, it seems like it's fine. Oh boy, oh, it's all not. over the place. It's all over the place. Just, yeah, the, the 130. One thing that's cool just off the gate, um, or out the gate, is yeah. they have these little, like, like factoids in the corner of their preview. Yeah. Like, they have, did you know, the first traces of what is and isn't an indie debate were found carved in the granite diorite steel found in Egypt near Rosetta in 1799. That's really like, good that's to know. That's really good to know. Hilarious. I appreciate that. <laughs> yeah, I'm curious. It's always um, fun to see, like, a showcase, like, what the tone is and the fact that they're going for a jokey tone out of the gate here is interesting. They did have, one of the ones I saw earlier was um, something like the the golden rule or something, or like the laws of showcases, start big, end big. So oh. now I am expecting them to like pop it off and close it out big, because yeah. they do have that in there. Obviously they're being a little cheeky, but at the same time, I think that seems a little bit more potentially true. Yeah, showcase. you can't just say that casually, but is anybody hoping for anything in particular here from this uh big indie showcase in the chat. Uh, also, uh, hello everybody on Twitch. If you're watching on YouTube, thank you. We ended up streaming this one on Twitch. You can follow us at twitch.tv slash minmaxshow uh, if you'd like. We're still primarily going to be doing reactions on YouTube, but for this one, it's kind of a last second thing, and so frankly, I got lazy and jumped over to to Twitch here. Looking forward to more deeds for Hyperlight Breaker, Hollow Knight Silk Song. Oh, that would be awesome if Silk Song showed up here. Like, talk Ain't about no way Silk Song's going to be I know there's no way, but wouldn't it be kind of cool? I don't know how uh, punk rock Team Cherry is overall, but I do think this would be a cool, cool place okay, to bring okay. it back if the they really wanted to. Just photosensitivity stuff. Oh, Rich, thank you for the big subs. Appreciate it. Oh, people want Naughty Dog's new game. Yep, you get you get what this Something is all about. Something on N64 aesthetic. A little, uh, uh, what's that? Yellow Taxi Goes Room kind of mm -hmm. energy. I'm not hip with that one. People yeah, like... it just came out. It's like an N64, like Mario 64 meets Crazy Taxi meets some other stuff. It's pretty fun. I haven't I haven't played it all the way through, but huh. I enjoyed it at the mix like a year ago. Oh, jeez. Missed that. World premiere. Okay. okay. Starting big. Is there start big? Jenna, that's a bug. Spirit Fair. It does look kind of like Spirit Fair. I think this is going to be one of those things where the, the, the little trailer like, doesn't necessarily match the art style. Right. But yeah, put the the vibes in the chat if you guys know offhand based on these antlers. What is this? God, this looks so familiar. I feel like I do. Is know. it going to be Slay the Spire stuff? Slay yeah, the Spire 2? Smart. All right, there smart. we go. There we two. go. 2. Oh, honestly, I the people look, I'm I'm like adjacent to the Slay the Spire community. I think people are going to pop for that oh. huge. Oh, no, this is huge. Several people I know, this is their favorite game of all time. I do think yeah. that's colossal. They said hello again. All right, there you go, everybody. That's a big. They're swing. really Chats just like kind of eating with this <laughs> a little bit. With the they have like a there's a confidence to this uh, showcase already. That's no. really interesting. Uh, 
Let us know how the uh, volume is, everybody. You want it a little bit louder? You want Janet and I even quieter? We can do whatever you want. Just tell us in the chat. Risk of Rain 2. I've never played a Risk of Rain game. And I know there's a big jump between 1 and 2, and they're completely different, but... Yeah, I don't think it's really a me game. Too procedural for your taste? Yeah, I'm not... It's Because what is It's Rogue, right? Yeah. The second uh, yeah, one Yeah, that's like is. double... Double no thank yous for oh, me. Procedural okay. Rogue, I'm like, ah... <laughs> Maybe later. Where really? Kill Knight?! So the, that's the name of the premiere? Okay. Place will hell itself. I am intrigued. Oh, I've kind of been looking for a place there. Okay, sure. Yes. Visually, a lot to come. That photo, that photo sensitivity warning's hitting hard <laughs> in this trailer. That's what they got. All right, people are into Kill Knight in a big way. Ah, bah, 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 bah. Yeah, I'm not going to mess with the demon within. But for those who are, shout out. This is... I feel like I know this person who's very into this game. I'm I'm in the arena, but I don't think I'm quite there. But I respect these people. These freaks that are into that. Something interesting about that genre, too, is how do y'all tell a good one versus a bad one in a trailer? In the shoot -em -up it's always up just genre? moving around projectiles. Uh. Don't! Minecraft Steve! Ooh. This city's got it all. Oh, is this that detective game? Alan Wake 2 d <laughs> oh. Doctors, waiters, enforcers. No, is this the game that's in early access? Killers. That Leo was into and Jeff was into? Now, a new oh, it might be. It does Shadows, look really familiar. Yeah, Shadows of Doubt. The bullet might have come from across the street, that seems right. But the gun came from under it. I love this Vox Lord style. Black it's so satisfying. Just like anybody else. They do their work. Nice. They clock out. They go home. Nobody keeps better records than a crook. Ooh. And killers always leave a trail. I liked watching their streams of this. All I gotta do is and it sounds like a very fun idea. Before they yeah. kill again. I so, like a good deduction game. I feel like there's lots of angles you can take. Like I'm always interested to see like to what degree do they let the player kinda like go and mess it up and then like where are the rails? Like I think Well the fun thing about this is that there aren't that many rails. Like you can be yeah. going down the wrong tree for a very long time, which is fun. This looks nice. Oh this is Palia, right? I don't know. No one knows what Palia is, Janet, other than you. Um at least two, I know two people at least I know what I, is. I need names. I'm sorry I just don't think they exist. Uh Sarah and uh Jenny Wyndham. Damn it. Wyndham's into this Uh she I think she played it. I don't know if she like likes it. Ah, no, you were wrong, sorry. Sandrock. It's all taken back. It's all taken back. No one can ever play a farming game again. We Thank you. We like I watching I heard my Sandrock is solid. I haven't it checked it out myself. But. Yeah. Now this is a game. The Lord of England must tame the land. Interested. Interested. Establish a Age of Empires Hades. Keep it supplied as it grows. Construct fortifications. I'm into this. And build a mighty castle. How do you feel about no voices so far? Like no people, oh, no, no hosting. That's a good question. I don't mind it. I think it's kind of cleaner. You know, it, it depends on how many games. Hello. Wait a minute. Now I'm very into this. In this world of it's always funny, right? That one thing that will <laughs> be like, hold on. Is this for me? <laughs> I mean, I was listening before. And I was just about to say, I'm so glad this isn't fantasy. I just love that it's not. But this is the right level of fantasy is to have big dinosaurs popping in. Yes. Now this is everything you need in a game. This might be the perfect video game. Dino Lords. Perfect Dino, name. The name, perfect name is very good. See, perfect this is, art. I feel like the, the good this side of fake sounding. Done. Actually, I think we're going to call it there for the stream because we're not getting any better than that, everybody. People are freaking out about the power. If only they had electricity. Damn it. Oh, yeah. I Don't saw that go. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. Don't talk about it. We don't acknowledge that around here. The fake viral flips. <laughs> yes, exactly. It's like not really viral. It's like 300 likes, but you know, in, in our realm, went yes. viral in our side. Insularly viral. Now, this is a Carmen Dan uh, San Diego uh, Metroidvania. Ooh. I don't know. The, the, the platforming looked a little celesty. A little celesty. 
I don't like, like that with word. The, the, the emphasis on like the spikes. Yeah. You know, and like the maneuverability and the dash with the. Again, you know, Celeste is not the first game to do that kind of dash, but. No, yeah, I can see it. Chat, this look good? Is there I, a genre you're a little tired of? Because I am, I am a little tired of Metroidvanias, a little bit. Janet. Ooh, Gestalt, Steam and Cinder. Okay, hang on. I wish the font was easier to read. That's so hard to read in that art style. It was rough. May twenty first. Hey, Jurassic Park, everybody. Hold on to your butts. Hey, it's Greg. <laughs> oh yuck! What's he doing here? Oh, we know that. That's so funny. I wonder if they asked him, can we use this random I'm sure he'd be like, yeah, I don't care. But I like, think he would just do Or they just like grab it and just put it in there. Yeah. I don't know if there's an emoji that he can send back in an email that's just him going like this. But uh, I think we know how Greg Miller operates. Imagine if they're like, we actually spent our whole budget on that one second of Greg Miller. <laughs> I would have assumed it was already out there, but hey, that's cool. That's cool. You know, yeah, that's yeah. cool. That's cool. The Platinum. The, vam the Vampire Survivor's Platinum. A uh, little animated intro. Now this is not Castlevania. This is Vampire Survivors. Don't be confused, everybody. For chat, I would say, so, uh, oh, was Castlevania heard of me? Oh, no, let's not go there. It's too early. <laughs> uh, yeah, Jen. I think I've always kept Metroidvania games at arm's length, so I'm not capable of being sick of them because I haven't really swam in those waters too much. I haven't. Not my thing. I haven't swam that much too, and that's the thing. Like, I really only want to swim a few times, and they're like, "Do you want to drown?" And I'm like, "No." <laughs> Who's like? And it's it's fine. Like the design, but it's like, I don't know. I don't need that. It's such a specific design style. I find it exhausting to conceptualize yep. going into too many of them. Yep, I'm with you. What? is this and if it's is this just dlc for vampire survivors if this is not vampire survivor no it is vampire survivors okay explain See, that's yourself the only, that's the only thing i think oh contra dlc oh contra cute okay, is rough without having sense. voices it is yes. you can get kind of a little lost from what the things actually are like yep. wait oh was this a sequel like the sand rock thing i still don't actually know what it was i think it was an update a port i don't know hang on how weird is that the vampire survivors has contra dlc which means it's Konami, but it's not Castlevania, which is what... Okay, that's so confusing. Oh boy, all right. Yeah, that is funky. But they had to change sprites because composing of the look of vengeance? some of the things. yes? My name is yes. Larry Shillman, and okay, I am voice. the composer for Flintlock. I would describe the world of Flintlock as this beautiful You should take his hood down so he can hear better if he's a composer. Rhyme with magic and gods and thunder. I wish his mic was better. Yeah. I think I hate My main guy, focus but... for the music in Flintlock was trying to Sleeps. achieve a sound that felt unique to this world and unique to this setting, unique to these enemies, I mean, I boost to these characters. Maybe put this for the idea of combat in this game, I wanted it to feel very specific <laughs> and specifically small. For the gods, I went completely in the other direction. I really wanted it to feel like you were up against something awesome. And this is a unique angle you don't normally hear from the composer. Like in a up against yeah, yeah. <laughs> especially for a game that maybe a lot of people don't know, like Flintlock. Oh, may, put, may put it back down again. <laughs> What's that, Janet? Turn it up. I don't want to hear any of my own thoughts <laughs> while watching this trailer. Please pump my I'm brain most full. Excited for players to experience a type of game and a type of world setting that we don't really see that much. This looks cool, but it does look that much very video. kind of generic so far. Yeah. Which is ironic because you just said, oh, we don't see this much. I'm like, I kind of feel like I've always seen it. <laughs> I don't know. It's, it's just me. Been like, here. The art looks good though, and I like the little pet you have, but I didn't, I didn't get any sense of what that game is at yeah. all. Yeah. The oh hell yeah! Wait, the community. We were just talking about Never Alone. Um. Oh yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why do they say the community that brought you? What the hell does that mean? I don't know. <laughs> Maybe. Uh, oh, you know what? It's probably because they did all that work with like the tribes and everything. Sure. Maybe they were like re. It was like a very communal project in that sense. Never Alone Two. Okay. Yeah, I'm. I'm there. I love Never Alone. I am. I feel like I'm having ultimate deja vu. But like, oh no, I guess it was that game about the deer and the. Fox, that had a sequel, but this is, that's a different game. People oh, there's so many Fox games, not always like and they this. all blend together. 
What's the name of that? Was lost centuries of Blanc. Blanc 2, right? That was an Oh, that's not it. There's so many. The there's, a, there's a Blanc 2? I think so. Am I imagining this? Blanc just came out, so I don't think it's a Blanc 2. The yeah, I, I'm born, out of my mind. Never mind. That day, the began. I can picture the art of what you're we talking about, but I cannot name it. It was a PlayStation 1 game. Yeah, yeah. Just Blanc. Chat, you know it. Just tell us when you feel like ending our suffering. Then, one night, instead of fear, came home. Oh. This is some nice art. I really do like this perspective she bent the for yeah. games. I feel like it's a nice mix of like combat management and sure. taking in the visuals. Yeah, it looks like Massive Chalice from Double Fine if you ever played that. Unbreakable. The art slightly reminds me of um, Cocoon, but if it was more like comic booky. Take our hourglass, hero. Spirit of the North. Spirit Thank of the you. North, too. That's what I'm thinking of. Thank you so much. God, I yeah. was feeling like I was losing my mind. All right, I knew there was some game like that that got a sequel. That's neither here nor there. Um, so far, enjoying it. it. It's actually too fast, I think. Yeah. I feel like I'm suffocating. Yep. I think like that Day of the Dead style presentation where you can show off the developers a little bit and they can kind of introduce you to the game might be a better pace, but, you know, if they have like 30 games to get through... <laughs> It's like, what else are we supposed to do? We don't want to. We want to give as many people time in the spotlight as possible. Yeah, I think what I want here's something what that kind of has always irked me about these showcases. Yeah. Um, as I say, as someone who's never had to run a showcase. Right. <laughs> we just, um, why don't they have lower thirds, which is the game name in the? Studio I know. No, it's time. yeah. Xbox because, has like, gotten I get so 10 good about that. To but... see, like, what these, I understand if you're leading into like a surprise, but once yeah. that part is done, put the lower third with the have game. It there. Name. Yes, I'm totally with you. It makes no sense not to. Death must die. Death must die. <laughs> it's, it, it's probably some artistic purity. They don't want that on the screen the whole time, but it's like you're doing yeah. you're doing everybody a disservice. Just get that name across uh, as much as you can. This is not Act two. Yeah, I'll be honest, I didn't know there was an act one. What? I feel bad. <laughs> act now. We got that. We got the triple I initiative. The colors are very play date also. Yeah. The yellow. Yeah, I kinda yeah. wish they went with a different color. I feel like I associate that with play date. I don't think Playdate's big enough to claim yellow. Sorry, Playdate. When Earth turns I mean, this is you. though it's like small v small though. Mm-hmm. Yeah, you're right. So it's all that. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Like this is all that matters. That's like if another Patreon came out and they had our orange with the arrows. It's like I mean, you know, we're not that big, but like I. Uh, so many brothers the wrong way. Ooh, I like the little makeshift car. Ooh. Yeah, they look very um, miniature-y. Almost like this looks like realistic overland. Oh, sure. We live to rebuild. Like visually, at least. Yeah. And the the movement reminds me of Jet the Far Shore. The idea of slowly going across an area. But it seems like it's very building focused, but also traveling. Can't comprehend what I'm witnessing. To survive. Okay, but also survival? <laughs> End zone, zone two. two. <laughs> Being a Minnesota Vikings fan, I'm not familiar with that <laughs> that title, Janet. Uh, it says a zombie skylines. I mean, that yeah, that yep. seems like a good summation yep. of the vibe I got at least. I am interested in this. This looks bizarre. Tell me about you. Oh, oh I, that's what I'm saying. Call out me, Taylor. <laughs> Okay. Now this is cute and all, but what is the game? Also, bullet hell on a sphere. It Not feels too uh, cheeky for like a tone that I haven't <laughs> like understood yet. Criticism's a funny thing, isn't it? <laughs> I like just rapid firing. Ah, ah. Hey man. Hey man, no, is okay. it is a weird thing for like, um, I think the funny thing about critiquing and live reacting to showcases yeah. is it's like, what am I looking at here? What am I looking at? What am I looking at? Opinion. Okay, yes, boom. Exact then, exactly. So it's so like raw, Ooh, you know? Whoa, speaking of raw, that was, what? Hello? Uh, Undermine 2? Very interested in this. Yeah, I don't like vaudeville, like apparently. Vaudeville hater, confirmed. I love a high five in a game. Okay, Ben, could this be our next Nobody Saves the World? Dude, well, Undermine is fun. Um, look, oh, it's not, I've never played it. It's not going to be Nobody Saves the World levels, but I'm looking forward to this. So this is not DLC and just a full-on sequel, but 
I don't know. Yeah, no, I've never played this. This looks cool. It's fun. It's a fun little rogue game. Ah. It's sorry. It's the only one that Kyle likes though, so maybe it'll get you. <laughs> yeah, I have. I, 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 you know what's funny? I actually don't know what rogue games I've played and beaten. I mean, might not have beaten any. Really? I really loved um, Binding of Isaac, but I, I always choke at the final boss, so I've never beaten it. Well, this is a chance. What was the name of that weird sphere bullet hell builder thing? Like, that flew by so damn fast. Hey, that's cool. Undermine 2. Okay, it is Undermine 2. Cool, cool, cool. Yeah. Good job. That looks really cool. What's with, so what's up with this bomb thing? Is that new? Uh, I think that's new. Um, okay. I see there's just something you can do now that there's co-op, because I don't think there was co-op in Undermine oh, 1. Yeah. I don't believe, but... I hope it's, um, I hope it's couch co-op. Dyson Sphere Program, people are saying the name of that was. I like that's this. Wild. This looks like very, you know, like the little management sim. Cult of the Lamb kind of vibes. Sure. Love the characters. Yeah, they look like that one um, webcomic. I forgot the name of it. It's like they have like they kind of look, cam. They just look a little they bit like, like every spheres. webcomic. Um, you're not thinking of Yahtzee's iconic art? Uh, yes, I didn't have this thing might be. It's uh, hello? Oh, is this not going to be on? Oh, yeah, with the car, yeah. Yeah, so getting also, off. Also, chat, you're right. It does seem more akin to Prison Architect. But I haven't played Prison Architect, so I was. <laughs> so, yeah, leaving Apple Arcade here for with the car. I like this game. I like it more if I wasn't playing on my phone. Nice. Have you. Did you play their. Um, oh my gosh, what's it called? The VR one. With the, the bat? Yeah. Yep, yep, liked it. Um, and then I, was, I really like that game. I was playing PSVR 2, and then I kind of broke at a certain point um, and got all janky, but I should go back to it at some point here. Although I think Jacob Keller still has my PSVR 2. Our PSVR 2 is a really better way to put it. Ish. This studio knows what they're doing. Did you play What the Car? No. I'm a little like, like I wasn't that into What the Golf. What the Bat's the only one I really got for. Like sure. in a big way. September 5th, play the demo now. They're fun though. Keep you on our hype train. Sure, yeah, we'll, we'll be on board for that. Oh, cool. Okay, I here we go. says uh, they're adding each game to the Triple I Steam page as they're announced. That's, That's nice. nice. Yeah. I do like the idea of having it all in like one spot. Only a few more roguelikes left, it says Janet. Let's go. Okay. Secrets and I wish they actually just did the Xbox thing and listed the names of the games over. again. I know it's ugly to look at, but... Yeah, I do like that, too. That was a nice format. Okay, so this is the Darkest Dungeon team. Darkest Dungeon 2 DLC, I'm guessing? We still have a while for this showcase, too, right? Yeah. Victory. Casts a long shadow. Are you a Darkest Dungeon person? No. And in that night at gloom... That's uh, Huber. He's the number one mm. fan. Is under siege. Decency must be defended. Righteousness reinforced. This realm uh. must stand fast against those who would seek to poison it and bleed it. Dry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. This squalid kingdom, these corrupted lands. New game mode. They are yours now, and you are bound to them. Cool. Right on. It's okay. So just 2024. Yeah, free update. Hello, I'm Anwar Noriega, CEO and co-founder of Wabi Sabi Games, Wabi -sabi. a team of developers mainly located in Latin America. Growing up, we were heavily inspired by retro platformers, anime, and graffiti, and wanted to share all that love with the world with our own very first video game, Raku oh, This is the first project we have created Dogs. together as a team, and we are very proud to be both published by Gearbox Publishing and also included as part of Riot Games on the Represented Founders Pro. Okay. Now, here's the first look. Pretty good! Pretty good out World of the game. Premiere. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Don't let us down. Hey man, I'll play we almost any platformer, so that made our city I'll be there, I guess. <laughs> Contractually obligated to play platformers. Scrubbed and drained. So help me God, if there's any Metroidvania elements in there. 
She's out. But I know what I have to do. Hey, I played Prince of Persia Lost Crown. Yeah. Right? There's no, more than I can true. say about most of the industry. It's true. That's true. It's the prize for the next episode of Trivia Tower. We're trying to get the word out as much as we can. It is very good. I'm also really looking forward to that um, Tales of Zao. Yeah. I didn't. I thought that was just DLC for Prince of Persia. Resist. Psych. Uh, this is interesting. I'd like to see yeah, gameplay. Yeah, another tough one where I'm not getting a feel though for the gameplay. Ah, see that. Well, which also I don't know how much. Oh, oh, no, it's coming soon. I was like, All oh, right. I don't know how this to show. Yeah, I mean, I'm down because I like platformers, but I really wish they gave me something that really based that excitement on. Yeah. Besides just like the genre and the art direction. This isn't Evil West, is it? Broken Roads is a post-apocalyptic, well, no, narrative-driven RPG set in the desolate oh, yeah. Weird beauty West. of the vast is Australian West outback. I, Weird West is the game I was trying to think of. Evil West is a different game. I get those confused. Yeah, it's the Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds of the West. Yeah. 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 And discover their um, more like characteristics. Starting to, skills to full. and reputation within the world. <laughs> um, Form bonds with a diverse let's cast see, of companions. Stressed. Each with their own moral um, leaning and ideal outcome. Wanting to be left alone. Challenges wanting to be surrounded by your journey across I think that's kind of. Mm, that's how it all works. That's cool. Yeah, like thanks. That. Thanks. What about you, Janet? Um, humor. Humor. Um, anxiety. Roads is available okay. now. Um. What else is there? What That's else really all is I am. <laughs> That's really all I have to bring to the table. Hmm. Accepted. Avalon has been reduced Nerd to the shadow of a bygone age. <laughs> and like fitness. Nice man. Ooh. Have that's a that's a that's a ringer at the end there. Bastion. Yeah, there's not a lot of points in there right now, but that's like at the end just thrown I, in. I gotta re I gotta respect that out. <laughs> this quarter, it's very off center. Come to me, friends. So Avalon is that always King Arthur world? Or is that just the history of Avalon? Everybody, I know Avalon the board game, but it's one of my favorites ever. And that's always King Arthur themed. But I don't know if that's actually. I thought that was just English, so I don't understand what's going on with Avalon. This art is nice. I like the yeah, uh, yeah. tall shaded desk. I agree. Uh, wait, the game's called Raven's Watch. Yeah. Again, that title was on the screen for 1.5 seconds. Half a second. Oh yeah, Raven's Watch, Fall of Avalon. Fuck. Too fast. <laughs> Too fast, you guys. What did you just say even now? Did say I thing, don't know. Did it say, say thank you for watching? Just 15 minutes left. <laughs> Google says Avalon is specific mythical island from Arthurian legend. Is like heaven in the King Arthur myths. Huh. Okay. Interesting. This is cute. I like these little things. I, I like him less. He's kind of scary. He's very Mad Max. I'm a big Redwall fan, so anytime I see mice doing human things, I'm automatically on board. Now this guy, I don't care Sea for. of Thieves, but make it a cartoon with rats. <laughs> see? I would have played Sea of Thieves by now if that was the case. Honestly, I... Well, actually, I, I've technically played it, but, like, a long time ago for a very short time. I think we put it in the show Plus poll once. We should probably get back to that at oh, some point. Oh, Yeah, you're right. Good eye. Cat Quest 3. Ooh, wow. That's the right one, though. Sorry, I'm going to need the full name of the game. It's Cat Quest 3. <laughs> you were so close. It's one of those things, like, I know, like, was it a typo? But that's why we have the, you know, doesn't count on numbers. Sorry. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Sorry. I think Hubert has played all of those games. Uh, Cat Quest? Yeah. And you've played those too? I've only dabbled a little bit, but I like what I played. I'm like looking forward to Cat Quest 3. Sure. I'm just going to jump into Cat Quest 3. Hyper Light. Breaker. Breaker. Uh huh. So this is kind of like a genre change from the first one a bit. I didn't play the first it one. It is, yeah, so. for sure. It's okay. like, the first one was like isometric, and now this is procedural, mm. third person, which Kyle seemed to be turned off by. But now I think he's drinking the Kool Aid. He might be back on board. My sensibilities line up with Kyle quite a few times on things like this. 
So that means I, by extension, am now on board. Yep, chug that Kool-Aid. I'm um, sorry, what was the release date for Hyperlay Breaker? Breaker? <sighs> Chat, I'm sorry, I missed it. The last spell, new DLC, Dwarves of Runner... Ruinberg. Early access this summer. Thank you, everybody. Thank you, Twitch. Ruinberg. David Ruinberg. We got dwarves, y'all! Yeah, it's weird. The one face we've seen is that composer guy. Oh, the other guy, too, that made the, um, oh, that's the platformer true. with the graffiti. And the dog, if you count that as a third face. Um, I think, too, one thing that I'm kind of like... Eh on is I feel like we're getting a lot of this... Even though it's funny, because in the beginning, I'm like, oh, I love that like isometric look. I, 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 like, I like it. I should say I liked it, because this is a lot of... A lot of like isometric, either like tactics y, like strat, rogue. It's like, I feel like the flavors are kind of getting a little samey. Yeah, yeah. Then you get this. Or you just well, remember that dinosaur is. game, Janet. And then, where's your flavor now? High five, Captain Toad. Let's go. Where's those mountains? Okay. Okay. Humanity, me no, actually, it's more still a builder. Yeah. It's just the people are like walking around. This is this is Sarah esque. Ooh, yes. Oh no! Excellent, excellent. Well, that's the problem. Get off the mountain, you guys. I do kind of like uh, that. That threw a little wrench at things. That was, that was pretty cool. Wait, Janet, how much money would you bet right now that the word Shangri La is in the title of this game? Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna go no. You're gonna it's go no. More interesting. Yeah, okay. you're gonna go yes. I'm gonna go no. I told you it wouldn't nah. be. Of course, it's Lysara Summit Kingdom. <laughs> it's, what else could it be? You're watching the Triple I Initiative. Okay. The trials are upon us. Will we finally see one worthy of the chalice of immortality? Now, I'd be cool with a wizard who could survive past the first round. <laughs> Whoa! This wizard wields fire arcana. Easy to learn, hard to master. Maybe the contest Man, is finally I, heating up. I'm, I'm, and as someone that writes reviews, I also have to stop saying easy to learn, hard to master. It's so hard because so often describes things, but it's so overused. Oh, yeah. Fine strategy. Earth meets lightning. Mmm, lightning gets me all tingly inside. Welcome to Deadsville. Population, her. Do you also put that now, in a lot of your reviews? Right this game is straight up Deadsville. I try to fit that in wherever I can. It's smart. Using Welcome to Deadsville. Yeah. You gotta get on that Deadsville SEO. Tradition. Um, multiplayer is cool. The best I've seen yet. <laughs> we like but other people. Look, there's not a lot of co-op no. games a that are like legend. campaign games to some degree. Sure. It's a lot okay. of like, oh, if you want to jump on and play like a competitive game. Yeah. It's it, like, I don't want to do that. I want to play a game It looked. Else. It looked a little bit like Magicka, which is kind of the roots of the Helldivers 2 team, so maybe there's some love for that. So they're playing a builder. Oh my god. <laughs> Freak out. Yeah, this is you took me too many you did that too one too many times. Yeah, what how many games do I have to buy to play this? And also, is that just for the vibes or is that an implication? Let's like am I actually playing like the kid at school, but the kid at school then plays a builder? Explain your implication, game. What the hell is that weapon? Alright. That's the name of the okay. game? <laughs> or is that that DLC? Now DLC. in the deep seas? New potatoes, items, and weapons. Oh, this is super brotato. Okay. Or just brotato, there's no super. Okay. But they, they did not say the name of the game before they said new stuff coming, right? Yeah. They're like, everyone knows what brotato is, right? Like, if you're watching, clearly, you're in the know. This is. Yeah. All right. This is that definitely a brotato crowd. Rich says he has 400 hours in brotato? Am I missing out on this Brotato Fiesta? Abyssal, abyss, abyssal terrors. Yeah. Yeah. Hey. Oh my god, I clocked it so good. Look at that room. Chia. I was like that with every game. Don't let them tell you otherwise. Hey, Chia on Switch. Switch Chia. Thanks. Hey. Chia is really good. I know I kind of maybe seemed like I dragged it in the two tens, but no, it was. It, it was is there. very enjoyable. It is um, cool. Really fun game. 
fun to explore, not great doing the missions, but exploring and running around is the best. Yeah, I have, there's only, there are critiques to be had, but yes, the feel <laughs> yes. of it, I think it has, you know, we talk a lot about like mini games and side content. I think it has some really fun, cool mini games and side content. Definitely yeah. a collect-a-thon vibe game, but um, yeah, it's fun. Sure. Is, hey, everybody, just so I'm trying to map out. <laughs> and never mind, you know what? That's not even worth it. I'm like, because no, someone's like, Huber's losing his mind at Kakos. Is Huber streaming a reaction on Easy Alice's channel right now? <laughs> that would be funny. Because then we're both about to collide and record the podcast right after this. Streets of Rogue Ooh, 2 is Leo, a here you go. RPG sandbox set in Leo's a most fast, anticipated game. Randomly generated open world. With this ambitious sequel, our goal is to create the okay, most that, that part is cool. I like, a bear? I like that. Sandbox experience ever. <laughs> you can, yeah, you ride because you ride a bear? Oh, I'm sorry, but when you ride a dinosaur, that that's all fair no, game. No, no, look, I think God forbid I pop for riding a dog no, or a bear. No, 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 no. We all like riding bears. It's cool. a corrupt president of a small country. Either solo Ooh, or can you with take friends off the, um, via online co-op. Like How yeah. you reach your goal is completely up to you. Even though this is going to end in like Assemble 10 seconds. Assemble a mercenary but... <laughs> army and plan a coup. Stage a zombie virus outbreak. Or just chill out, build a farm, and totally ignore the main quest. Woo! Pick from a diverse roster of playable character classes, each with their this own This is going to be wild. This is going to be a fun traits. one to watch Leo stream. Take a look at ah! these glorious bastards. Hacker, chef, cultist, wrestler, detective, ninja, also gorilla, and werewolf, and uh, investment banker, and many more. Be sneaky, or go guns blazing, or make others that do your dirty work. Starfield Get inventive and experiment. Background. There are multiple ways to complete Yeah, the game you were looking mission. for the whole time was Streets Wreak of Rogue, Havoc it turns out. vast arsenal yeah. of weapons, gadgets, and vehicles. Machine guns, shrink rays, bear traps, check. Supercars and speedboats. I do like the check. look of those cars. Boom boxes, banana peels, rat summoning oak arena. Uh, this is a tough game to sell because it's just uh, do, I was, do whatever I you want. Yeah, I was thinking about how of Rogue as someone that doesn't, isn't familiar with this, like yeah. how this is reading to me. And honestly, I think for what it is, they're doing a pretty good job because they are showing just like, look, there's so many cool things you can do. Like, yep. And I think it gives opportunities for people to feel like, oh my god, that's my thing. You know, yep. it's like the bear, the weird rats, the... You know, adventure aspects like... Later this year, Add the game to your wish list. There we go. Later this year, 2024. Old world. Old? Ben? Oh this is for you. Oh my god, I'm listening with my old ears. They're hairy. You're like, what? No, he just says, what? <laughs> <laughs> wow. This one had a different name that was a lot better than Old World. Does anyone remember what it used to be? Old world game. Behind the throne. Soren Johnson. Game name change. Pocket pair. Hey! Ah, wait. Our friends. The biggest the game of the, of the year is in this? That's a get, baby. Holy cow. Power, Power World Arena. Arena. That's, that was wait, very uh, brief, but what I mean, was that? honestly, though, we got what we needed to know, so. I In guess? Darkness, so it's just gonna be an update where you together. can fight? Yeah, you can do like a arena battle. That seems like. I mean, they, they could have given more for sure, but I it's just funny that it was very short and it's like Power World Arena's update coming. I'm like, well, that, that was the information. I wonder if Keely strong armed them to get the, the full explanation at Summer Game Fest or something. I don't know. Is that con nothing's confirmed at Summer Game Fest, right? No, no, no. I'm just hypothetically that was such yeah, a no, bizarre no. tone for a trailer. There must have been a reason it was so abridged. The fiends seek to consume you. The fall may yet be saved, and the actions of the valiant are rewarded. That one tiny part that isn't covered in area of effect damage was like really stressful to me conceptually. <laughs> I don't like it. Thank you. Uh, thank you, A. Martin, for the big sub. And uh, Rich Bad at Games, thank you. That's exactly what I was looking for. Old World was originally called Ten Crowns. Thank you. That is such a specific thing, but thank you for that. Yeah, 33 Immortals. Is that what this game's called again? This is from the Spirit Fair team. 
and quickly oh, join cool. the fray. I think it was 33, wasn't it? Or is it 88? Um, maybe there's 33, that number on the screen. So that okay. seems like <laughs> that's something. Environmental storytelling, you know? <laughs> Mark my words. Only through pain so weird looking. I am curious how this is going to go. Immortal. Okay, so they said it. Oh, oh, they're going to oh. show me it. No! That is funky. Yes. I am curious to see. Oh. Uh, in Game Pass, yes. Someone in chat asked if this is Game Pass. It is. That's coming very Game soon. Game Pass Xbox Epic Store. Ladies and gentlemen, we have What's your favorite tone, Janet? Back. In a brave new world. Anyone can be whoever they want to be. Oh, the weird gun game, Mickey with a gun game. A can of healthy spinach. Oh. Spike D. IGN was pushing this a while ago, I presume. It's remember your five a day. You like Cuphead? Well, what if you shot people and watched them bleed, huh? There's Cuphead. It also kind of, you know, it has, um... Bendy nice. and the Ink Machine energy as well. I sure. think more than Cuphead, actually, yeah. for visuals. <gasps> Sorry, everybody. This is not... Coming out Final of my cage related. and I've been doing oh, just oh, 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 shit. Take it away. <laughs> v Rising. Hello. Do you like Cuphead? What if you could win? No facts, because I, I tried to play Cuphead for like the third time, and I like could not do it. <laughs> I'm like, I can't be bothered with this. I'm I couldn't even get to the out. Netflix show. I thought it was too hard. To keep my eyes open. Good. <laughs> I don't know. Would I, I, you know what, Janet? Maybe I would like The Rising. There's a, there's a world. I mean, there's a world for everything, but I don't think we're in that world. This is, this is a problem. <laughs> my only problem with it is I think vampires are dumb, but I like the really? idea. Really? What about, like, so you don't, well, you're not a Castlevania person. No, right? definitely like not. I don't like any vampire yeah. stuff. Except for like, I gotta listen to that gaming confessions because I want to know what you actually said because I feel like you oh, have a lot of. I do have more. There's a lot of things more. I feel like you should say. Oh, but Doom, I see what we you talked about said. Doom. I don't like Doom. Oh, people ask about Vincent. Vincent from Seven is not a vampire. I've never seen Vincent suck blood. Any relation to vampire is purely coincidental. He has. So was the Twilight to... era really tough on you? I just, I listen to commentary tracks for all the Twilight films, but I've never seen one. <laughs> Why? That's so weird. Uh, I don't know because my brain's broken. But no, we talked about me not liking Doom on the podcast. That, that's that been outed sufficiently. Nice. But the, the loop is finally closed on what we teased in paternally <laughs> social media posts. <laughs> oh, Jesus. All right. I See, I'm not enough of a Castlevania guy to realize that that was specifically Castlevania related. All right. That's cool. So interesting strategy from Everything's Konami. tied in with Castlevania, but like, where is Castlevania though? You know, it's like. It's a great question. It's World on Netflix. I'm, I'm, yeah, her's pretty good too, right? Yeah. Oh yeah, people love that. Evil Empire. I guess Nosferatu gets a pass, you guys. <laughs> Which vampires get a pass? It's a great question. He's one of the good vampires. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's like, why can't all of you guys be this way? I don't know. Is that, am I wrong for saying that? I just, if any are in a movie from before 1931, those vampires are cool with me. Jesus. Ooh, Vamp from Metal Gear Solid 2. Look, I do love Vamp. But he's just... He's not a vampire. He just sucks people's blood and flies What's around his and throws... What's name, Vamp? It's purely coincidental that his name is he's Vamp. The, he's like, beat them. You can't see, like, I'm not a vampire, and you're mad that people think you're a vampire and you suck blood in your name. It's like, I feel like uh, you're branding. That's a branding issue. Yeah, you're right. But nope, sorry, he's not a vampire, so he's cool. So why did you listen to the Twilight commentary track? Um, like, because you like hate vampires and didn't want to watch the movie. Yeah, Blank Check did them, and I consume all Blank Check media. Like, oh. I'm a sicko. Is there anything that would make you skip a Blank Check episode? Where you look at that and you're like, you know what, I don't want to listen, I don't want to listen to that. No, at this point, no. It's, wow. They had an episode for Patreon exclusives that was just like them chewing their lunch orders. 
and I still listened to it and enjoyed it. Did thoroughly. you like it? I mean, not like in an erotic sense, if that's what you're asking, but like. I, um, Ben, I'm never asking in, in an erotic <laughs> sense. So I think you can just, <laughs> as, a, as a quick blanket. Always neurotic, never erotic. Got it, yeah. got it. Uh, this is a funky look. Yeah. I, Cause you know, I'm usually annoyed by like, all right, opening cutscene looks nothing like the game, but in this case, like it looks so much like the game. That's kind of a cool connection. Yeah, it also kind of looks, um, it reminds me of, um... Oh, what the game? hell, Janet? Oh, This fun. is that game that was rumored. Jesus, I did not see that coming. I should have been paying a lot more attention. Yeah, I would try that. Jesus Christ. Even All though right. it's called The Rogue, I would try it. Wow, May 14th. That is from the Dead Cells developers, is what the leak was saying there. Wow, all right, that was probably the big close with there. Rich Bad Games says we need to ask Blank Check about the power scene in Jurassic Park. Way ahead of you, Rich. And I gotta say, the news is good for me, but I won't reveal any more than that. That's probably, that's too See, much of a tease of nothing. Even in here with this is a real, this is a great time for some titles, y'all. I don't know. Uh, no, 100%. Don't know. 100%. Do you feel like the opening and closing felt sufficient to them saying, open big, close big? I think so. I mean, uh, I Slay the Spider 2 is secretly going to be a juggernaut when that launches. <laughs> We're all going to be scrambling to catch up with that game getting billions of views on YouTube or whatever. All right. Solid showcase. Oh, here's, here's the secret people. Secret people. I love secret people. Um, boy, let's watch this again because I really... I let everybody down. So Evil Empire. So this is the team. Is that the team that spun off to focus fully on? Do you remember this whole thing? Um, dun -dun -dun -dun. Probably not, but less so when you're not describing anything. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's not helpful at all. There's a team. No, that, in, like, your, in your defense, I don't think I'm going to know it. So don't. It's <laughs> sorry, a Dead Cell split the development team. So one team could make new things, and the evil and another team, maybe Evil Empire, could focus on keeping Dead Cells up to date, so. Yeah, not weirder says correct. It's the spinoff team. Thank you. And we were talking about vampires through this. How rude. I mean, I think in our defense, one, I was really interested in vampires. Two, <laughs> I, this, this part, I get it. It's set in the scene. It's not doing anything for me. Sure. I gotta see game, you know, it, the art, cool art is cool. I could see your art when I, you see me, when you show me gameplay. I don't need yep. to specifically, again, I get why they do it stylistically. But, yeah, I don't think, I don't know. I'm never a fan of it, if I'm being honest. I'm being sure. More, for real, I just don't, I just think it's, um, it's time. <laughs> and then these guys are the evil ones, you guys. So we're going to have a Ubisoft game at the Indie Showcase. Yeah, I, th I think that's cool. It's a nice crossover. Um, yeah, I mean, I think it's no weirder than like how EA Originals can appear, or there's that one game, the again the platformer from that one person who had the dog. I forget their name, sorry. Um, that was um, like what respawn? Not respawn, but it was like from a bigger publisher. Gearbox. Well, Gearbox was publishing it, yeah. And something yeah. else. There was another one underneath that. Riot. Gearbox and Riot. Right, right. See that transition is yeah. awesome. It's just, it is funky looking. It looks a little heavy is my only okay. yeah. concern. Yep. But it seems like you can chain a lot of moves together, which seems fun. I'm curious how complicated chaining those moves actually becomes. It does seem like there's a flash animation that might yeah. serve to, you know, help sort of guide the player on how to like do those gymnastics. Well, hey, I'd argue that uh, we'll be talking about that more on the new episode of the Min Max Show podcast, and maybe somebody on the show has played it. Uh, you tell us, everybody, or we'll tell you. The answer is yes. Um, so there'll be a lot to cover here. All right, Janet. Solid. Solid yeah. showcase. Again, get the names on the screen. Slow down a little bit, but that's uh, that was a lot more fun than I thought it was going to be. Yeah, um, it's a it's probably about what I thought it was going to be. I, I felt like with the pedigree of the teams and the idea of the knowledge of what showcases mean, what developers want from them and things. Like, I, I did have pretty high expectations in their ability to deliver. I do think, to echo you, yeah, I want names on screen. I kind of yeah. want the pacing to be a little different. I did feel like at one point I was a little overwhelmed by everything happening. By the power and of I think this there's, It feels random with who gets to talk and who doesn't, and I'm not trying to, like, say that in a, you know, 
putting that on the team, it could be a number of reasons, you know, whether it's like Wish amount of time they wanted on screen, whether it's availability, whether it's them attempting to bring up the pacing. I'm sure they had their reasons, but um, yeah, I wish it felt a little different. And I do think some of the gameplay got homogenous. So those are like sure. my, my dings. But they were aware of it. Are... They were saying, we're, we're yeah. also sick of roguelikes. So I was like, is that a redemption thing? I don't know. But hey, we'll be yeah. talking about all this on the new episode of the Min Max Show podcast. You can always subscribe to the Min Max Show on your favorite podcast app. That'd be a nice way of supporting us, helping us out. But thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. We'll send you on a raid as well, since technically we're on Twitch. Listen to our dear friend Man Engage is playing Ori in the Will of the Wisps. She's apparently streaming every time we're streaming, so we're just going to keep sending raids her way until eventually she joins us in an episode of Trivia Tower or something. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody. We'll see you next time. Goodbye. <laughs>